Yeah, she's got this. Shelby's a beast, she's got it. On this nice brisk morning, we are doing a hike. Cradle Mountain, we are in Tasmania. It's freezing, well it's not freezing, but it is kind of icy. Got here early to get the car park. If you get here before the, the shuttle's opening, you can park along the national park down here. But as soon as the shuttle starts, you have to park at the visitor center to get here. But this is the hike. It's all boardwalk at the moment. There's all up there to Cradle Mountain. So, we up early for this and we're a bit tired, but we're excited. That little building right there you can see is where we parked the car and we parked up here so far. It's a bit icy up through there so it's a bit hard to record. So this is the Fagus leaf. This is what Shelby really wanted to see. Only out this time of year. A whole bunch of them over here. Nice and orange. It's the mountain behind it. Are you happy to see him? And then if we go forward over here. So, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. The sun, the sun's coming out so it's getting warm. And then, oh man, like, my hands and nose, that's where it struggles worse than the cold, but this is the hut here. Marion Lake. Probably saying that wrong, but I say a lot of things wrong by accident. They get more better shots. I just put that. Okay. Beauty about waking up early doing it. You get the track to yourself. Well, there is other people that hike early as well, but it's nice tracks. Overland is a, it's a couple of days, so I'm not sure how busy that gets, I haven't done that yet. Be well prepared for that. But it is glorious. It is, I'll tell you, 9 o'clock in the morning. Don't know what the weather is, but it's, it's getting warmer, it's chilly, but it's nice. It's nice just to look out 
the water and the little bit of the mountains and then we'll trek up that way and then there's even a better viewpoint looking down at this lake so get a few shots here of the hut with the water so it's, it's nice Well, you made it to one viewpoint. Still, like behind me down there, that we were just cradle lake. lake. No, I think this is like little. Oh, it's nice to be in the sun. Yeah. It's good. This is another. What's this lake? Sorry. It's down there. I'm gonna go up there to Marion's lookout. Marion's lookout. What's this lake here? I think. I think that's Lake Lilla, and then that's that's the beginning of Dove Lake down there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah that is here, yeah, the that's car the park visitor park center. Yeah. center. So that's like a little like Lilla, Lilla, Lilla. Yeah. <laughs> <And then. sighs> you made it to one of the spots, we still got a bit more to go. Yeah, I think slowly getting pumped, we're a bit, we started off a bit tired today. Yeah. I think we're just tired. <laughs> and the cold chills are all but I think uh, I'm warming up a little bit and yeah I'm warming up it's when you when you're cold you're a bit like trying to push through and then when you, as you warm up you get better yeah, but the sun's definitely good yeah it is it's a nice view nice from here awesome. all right we'll keep going going up Come to a section, get a bit of vertical chain grab. I don't know what you call it. Aid. Scrambling. Scrambling. Let's tell it's a not the best looking stairs. But stair. Definitely want to hang on to this, it's part of the adventure, but only it's a bit hard if you do it without the chains. So, let me record this process. Oh, I sounded English then for a second, it's weird. Okay, it's not that hard, it's just more just to help you. See, it's a bit, let me stand back. Big steps to get up, so. Maybe struggle for some, but I'm doing it with one hand, so if you're fit, young or old, you can do it, it'll be fine. Sun's in my eyes, I'll turn the pellets. Nice, kind of little ice here. Ah, oh, okay, that's tough. I'm just gonna try and break it. Yeah. Most hikes I've done, I always slip. I haven't slipped yet. <laughs> Up we go. Get to the viewpoint. Well, I keep saying viewpoints, one of the viewpoints. I'm not done yet. This isn't a viewpoint. <laughs> no, it's not. Right, I'll go. Up here so we can see. Yeah. So, still got a bit more to go, to go up. You can see that white pole up there. 
we've got a scramble up there, so we'll keep moving. I'll try to catch my breath. The cold, cold winds whacked out my nose a bit, so. All right, we made it to one of the main viewpoints. Got the lake. Oh, you can't see it, but it's behind me. You got a lake here as well. And then behind is another lake you can't see. No, there's mountains over there, but. I think it's all connected. This is Dub Lake. There's a uh, Cradle Mountain. So, what? We will be summiting that mountain there. And then we can say we've conquered it. Conquered Cradle Mountain. It's quite a sight as you can see. So yeah, I'll try and record the process as much as possible without the GoPro dying, but so I'm not recording a whole lot of stuff on the way up. Cause it's quite a it's an all day hike. And stupid me, I got to check the GoPro the night before. I thought I charged it, but no, I realized I charged the GoPro Volta stick, not the GoPro. But the good thing is the Volta stick does charge the GoPro. Long story short, I don't know how much charge it can give to the GoPro, but hopefully it's enough for me to record the process. In the meantime, you caught Shelby looking at Cradle Mountain. Might have a snack, coffee, I don't know. See how we go. Yeah. Um, take some photos. Take some photos. I feel like coffee reward would be good for us. <laughs> oh yeah, I think once we... If I eat, no, if I snack too much now, I'll... it was better after the summer. <laughs> once we get to the top of that mountain. Maybe we can have lunch on the mountain if it's not too cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see. Drinking coffee and the coffee just blows away. Depends how windy it is, but... It's quite a crazy looking mountain, the ruggedness of it. It's really... It's nice, it's pretty. The, the lake there so yeah we are quite pumped to get to the top so and I'll see if I can walk over here so you can see how far we've walked so there's quite a bit of a scramble up to this point here but um we did see it was quite icy like the guy said it is starting to melt though so we, we easily kind of trekked around the side and avoided it but so this is a, another little point here. So, not sure if you can see, but all the way down there is where we parked. There's a little hut there. Ice. And. Yeah, I was about to explain that. So, the signs, they say just because they're trying to keep Tassie wild and, you know, it's part of the vegetation and whatnot, they. Say not to stand on here or the mossy bit because you know you're trying to preserve the land, so it is hard because you don't want to exactly walk through there. But there is a dirt bit you can walk here, but this is all just it's all just ice. I mean, you can go for gold and walk on it if you want, you might might get there faster, hit your head along the way, but that's on you, not me. I didn't say it. Well, actually, I did, me. I'll say don't do it. Then I'll leave it up to you to decide if you want to do it or not. But yeah, it's all just I say. Yeah, as the day goes on, it should melt. It's quite thick ice. I might have to jump over here. Just avoid that. Stay on the dirt track. And then yeah, look, there's this whole section there that's iced over. So. Yeah, this is a good viewpoint so you can see. Got a bit to tackle up there, and then there's that section up there shouldn't be iced over because um, it's got the timbers boardwalk or the the wood boardwalks, I should say. So, so yeah, like this bit, I'm gonna have to be careful. I don't know if that's just rocks or if that's ice, but oh. Oh, okay. I'm like, I wasn't sure. I was like stepping on it. I'm like, don't want to 
uh, step on that then slide. Sometimes you just can't avoid it though, like, that's just... Boom! We need to look after it. <laughs> that's true, we do. I mean, we're doing our best to, you know, preserve the limb, but we, you know, we want to look after our own bones and self. So we're staying on the dirt track. So yeah, this is all, it's all iced here. So it looks like it's getting a bit better now, but we come across sections every now and then. It's like this. I think we just thought we might lock out without the ice because it's not quite winter, but it seems to have come early. Yeah. But we're just, I guess, but I mean, I've heard even in summer it can be icy, so never know with uh, Crater Mountain. Never know, always prepare for the worst. So yeah, we'll keep going. Try to preserve this battery so you can record the the hike up to the top of the Cradle Mountain summit. We made it to the viewpoint that Shelby wanted to see. How is the view? Awesome. It's on the way to the summer track, but it's just this viewpoint of Barn Block. Yeah, I didn't record it before, but that section we just did was really iced over. Like, <laughs> pretty badly iced over. Uh, to preserve battery and also you on a slip, I didn't record it, but it was pretty bad. But here's the viewpoint here. So, there's a little track. So we're gonna go up and then we'll scramble up to get to the summit. So not not far yet, not long to go yet. Um, it's pretty windy up here. I see, but oh yeah, there's the hut. There's that little, it's a little hut there. If you can see, it's kind of like a break point. I think there's a drop toilet there. I think there's a drop toilet there. I can't remember. But yeah, then you the steep climb up, which I'll try and record as much as I can. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a bit of snow on top of it, but then you can get a good view, panoramic view of this whole area. Shall we snacking? Wouldn't want to snack myself. So yeah. Man, we'll so I'll draw on hopefully it's all just boardwalk here on out. Hopefully it's not too icy on the way up. But Cradle Mountain, awesome view from here, beautiful view. It's uh, ruggedness, I love rugged mountains, gives it a lot of characters. It's nice, it's, it's getting it's pretty, pretty warm now. Go on and then off we go.
not far to the top now. It's just there. It's all snow. Oh, man, this is pretty tough. Might be a bit easier in the summer, but slippery. Shelby's just coming up I now. Think it would be that easy in summer. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, I did slip and got my leg lodged. Oh, I had to, I had to lift myself up between the two rocks. As you can tell, my sniffles, it's my nose from the cold. So Shelby's just down there. So I used two hands, I, lift, I put my knee on the middle rock and then lifted myself up. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Oh, such a beautiful view though. I know we're not at the top yet, well we're nearly at the top. I might have to go down and help Shelby. Just catching my breath. Okay, I'll be back. Yeah, she's got this. Shelby's a beast. She's got it. I'm just thinking, how the heck I gonna get down? <laughs> uh, I didn't think of that. Good parachute. I mean, this is a hard hike. It is. But I, it's very hard. I probably sound gross on the vlog right now, sniffling, but. All trail is hard, but. It's part of the adventure. It's not supposed to be pretty. Hard ones that aren't this hard. Yeah. We saw a couple stuff and they were talking about this section here. They turned back down. I mean, it's a nice view. I think we're going to call it as well because I, I tried to. Because there's, I mean, it's pretty hard to tell by the, the camera, but there's these big rocks sliding down, and so you have to go kind of try and scrimmage through those that snowy section. And it looks pretty snowy. I can see a bit of like shoe mark slides that look like they slid down a bit. So. And it, yeah, I mean, up there, that's okay, it's not as snowy, but it's just this section here. Um, I think the... You know, you got to play it safe as well, you don't want to... Your confidence is good, but, you know, this is... Yeah. We're happy to call it here, because I know there's the people that turn back from this point, but this is a nice view here anyway, we're going to have lunch. Yeah. And I think we are coming back here in summertime anyway, so I think we'll try it again. When there's no snow. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. You got. This is still an accomplishment for me, anyway. It was quite cool um, going up those uh, rocks and a bit of bouldering a little bit. Oh, Hopefully, the footage is good. A <laughs> bit. I, that was actually. That was a very. That was even scram more scrambly than I thought. Oh, it was. And we're battling the snow and the wind as well. So it's. As you can tell, like, a, you can't tell from the bottom, obviously, but this is, there's actually a lot of snow up here. It's nice now chili, it's but lunchtime. yeah, I need to eat something too. So I'm gonna eat. Battery's on low, so I'll see what else I can get. If I can squeeze in some more footage, and then yeah, eat something. Yeah.
So, got quite, I think once you get past that section there, it's not too bad from what I remember. So there's a little bit of, that's a bit of a steep bit there, so I'm gonna have to kind of slide down a little bit to that pole. So yeah, definitely not going down that way. <laughs> no. But I tell you what, it is beautiful. There we go, we made it to the bottom. So we're back to the car now, back in the car. The battery did run out in the GoPro, but that doesn't matter. What do you reckon of the hike? Good, yeah, good. It was a good hike. It was um, quite strenuous at times, especially with the going up the rocks and climbing up the mount, the, the cliffs and stuff, but another hike done. Yep, and conquered. Til, till next time we'll do the summit. Yeah, we'll summit. go back to the summit properly. But yeah, that's but, it. Now we're gonna ride back home into the horizon. Thank <laughs> you.